wonderful, pleasurable experience. Have fun, enjoy it. It's not all about being hard, nose, and you know, nose to the grindstone. And make sure you're also having fun along the way, because you're much more likely to succeed if you're enjoying what you're doing. So those are my brief tips. It's a bit noisy, so I hope you can hear me. Happy to take any questions if anyone would like to ask me anything. Thank you very much. Please let's put your hands together for our Excellency, the British High Commissioner, for that wonderful speech. Please, any question? Okay, good evening. My name is Abayo Miyadola. Okay, so I want to ask, in getting opportunities, how do you get opportunities without looking back at your background or your family? In case like you're having a kind of family that pulls you down when you want to come up and all the kind of things. Pulling you down. So don't allow that to happen, frankly. You must believe in yourself. And if you're not getting the support you need from your immediate family, that's when you need to reach out to your friends and your wider networks and your mentors. You need somebody to believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. And challenge your family back. Don't allow them to pull you down. It's not acceptable. You're probably jealous of, to be honest, some members of your family may be jealous if you're more successful. But ultimately, I'm sure they'll come around to respect you. So stick with it and seek support from your wider networks. Any other questions? Thank you very much. My name is Lisa. My question is... Does mentorship have to be direct? Mentorship, does it have to be direct? And do you have to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the person that you mentor with? Or it can be something that... Somebody that you do not have a one on one relationship with, but you really are not a person. You're not a person with a child, you're not a person with a child. Alright, that's good. My name is Rola. Rola, I'd like to ask. Okay, she spoke about children's dreams, going after what you want, and all that. And um, it happens that um, academics does not work well for some of us. So, how do we balance?
photography. That's not a man's world. Who said that's a man's world? One of the best female photographers of females. That absolutely is ridiculous, actually. And you absolutely must stand your ground and show the portfolio that you've got. Um, you know, just one little word on uh, the difficulty of women, particularly, frankly, in a society which is very patriarchal, as you have here. It is really, really challenging. I admire all of you for taking this on, trying to be entrepreneurs in a, in a world that's quite male-dominated. But um, you need to try and find men who will support you. So if it requires you, maybe this is the slightly annoying thing, but if it helps to go to the bank, with a male colleague who can be uh, stand with you and vouch for you, then I'm afraid sometimes we have to do it. But absolutely refuse to allow them to say that's a man's world, it just simply isn't. I hope I haven't missed any of the questions. Is there, is there getting capital? Yeah, that first bit about getting capital. There are, to be honest, lots of donors in Nigeria who provide small grants for entrepreneurs, um, particularly for young women. So I think what I need to do is uh, make sure somebody in your system has the links for all the access to grant funding, sorry, um, loans, obviously not grants, but loans for small entrepreneurs, particularly women like yourselves who are trying to get into business. DFID, part of the UK government, supports those kind of things. So I think there are ways around that and I'll make sure that your mentoring team are aware of those. Sorry, yes, the, the one is reminding me. Yeah, so education. Um, I think increasingly the research is showing that education in the traditional sense is not the best predictor of success. So I think the world is actually changing quite a lot on that. So if you're particularly if you're going into something vocational, it is all about demonstrating your practical skills. So don't allow that to put you off, particularly in entrepreneurship. Education, there's many, many of the best entrepreneurs who dropped out of university. I think the guy who set up Google um, and all those tech companies, many of them dropped out of university. So don't worry about that. If you have a good idea, you'll ultimately be able to sell it. Let's let us pull our hearts together and appreciate her. Now, Your Excellency Giselle, to present. No, no, no. Uh, to present something to you. Now, please step forward. Um, Oye oh yeah, was one of the participants of the Queen Morini Leadership Pageant that we had in 2018 in Ogun State, courtesy of Chief Mr. Olufunjo Amosun. She now designs the Morini Kimono. We started her off with 30,000 Naira. She has now earned up to 800,000 Naira through the Marini Ajashoro Initiative. And she's going to keep on going. We're taking her designs to Africa Fashion Week London. She's going to Africa Fashion Week Dubai in November. She's also going to, she's also going to be representing the Marini Collection at Africa Fashion Week Nigeria in December. Thank you very much, Elohim. We also have Dami. She was one of the participants in 2017. She's in her third year now at the Open University. She's studying business administration. Dami came back from Oman three years ago where she went there um, to look for greener pastures. Um, she was deceived and she was taken as, I won't say um, a sex slave, but she was taken against her will. She came back to Nigeria a year at the Open University and she owns her own business as well. So she's an entrepreneur as well. She owns her own fashion store. Now, see these beautiful damsels. If you are not to marry, someone is available. Don't ask me who is that person. Now, ladies and gentlemen, six. Number nine. Number twelve. Number thirteen. Number fourteen. Number seventeen. 
number 23, number 25. I'm too fast. Okay, let's start. Number two, number three, number nine. Number 17. Number Number 19. Yes, number 19. Number 19. Number 23. Number 23. Number 25. Number 27. Number 29. Number 32. Number 40. Number 40. Number 47. Number 48. Number 48. Number 48. Number 51. Number 51. Number 57. Number 71. Number 86. Number 86. Number 96. Number 99. Number 52. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And number 4. And number 4. These are the beneficiaries of this award. If I call you in time, you know, you're not better than that, please spare me. Thank you. All these people that I have called that have just collected their certificates, let me announce to you that you get your more me entrepreneur grants. Please put your hands together. Put your hands to all the people that have called now. All the people that have called yes. now. Please put your hands in appreciate. I appreciate our excellency. Our excellency. We have all the Olodu there. She's wearing our Ideifa. Come and see. You know what you're wearing? Your beads? Yeah, I bought it today. You bought it today? Yeah. Fantastic. And the United States. Oh, so a round of applause for her for trying to connect to our heritage. God bless you and God bless the works of your heart. Thank you very much. And the Gaza Pekka is here. I excellency, if I yet me see, yes, if I yet me see, with what you are putting on. Yes. So, just very briefly to say thank you so much for my beautiful gift, which I will treasure so much. I'm very, the Rupert today, I think, with my gift, a small gift, um, which is 